Hi guys. Um, so I was laying in bed right now. I have a small little bit of a <coughs> cold. I got the cold yesterday. I woke up with it and I was so smart. I wet my hair. <laughs> and after I washed my hair, I was not in the mood to blow dry and flat iron. And then I started having a dry cough. So I went to the chemist and I got some things for that. So if you hear a little bit of a dry cough or a snuffle, I do have a cold. I'm telling you now in advance. Right. So I was laying in bed and I was like, I got the reminder. I have to record for YouTube. So I was like, I'm sick. I won't go today now. And then I realized that the next video is supposed to be our annual setting intentions for the following year. So here we go. I am setting my intentions for the new year 2023. You will see me looking down a lot. Uh, I wrote everything down as we do every year. Um, this year is different because I look like she. <laughs> but I will be looking very, very cute going into the new year. So let's start. Um, as you can see, new setting. Normally it's in my room in my mom's house. But guys, if you're following my channel, you will know that I moved. I'm sorry. Right, first, without further delay, I have been off social media since July, July, August. Um, I just needed a mental break. Uh, social media is very taxing, whether you are an influencer. When I say influencer, I mean like you blow up, you have like over 10k or 100k followers, subscribers, and whatever. Um, it's not so much the following that drains you or hurts you mentally. It's also having to keep up, the trying to grow your channel, the constant algorithm changes. It's, it's a lot. So I took my time this year. Like I think I said in my previous video, I want to focus on my social media this year. <coughs> I did to a certain degree. My Instagram grew a little. Um... My TikTok definitely did go. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just took a break. I need to pull myself towards myself because I was getting frustrated with the fact that I was getting nowhere. In my perfect mind, I was getting nowhere. So I just took a break. And after the break, I started uploading slowly on YouTube. Upload and, and send out so everything that you guys have seen up until this video no last video last video was black friday was pre-recorded and uploaded so from black friday's video forward we are now up to date All right so everything going into the new year will be brand new videos i will be recording in that week and i have so much stuff planned you guys in my break, I wasn't just sitting around, moping, whatever, whatever, whatever. I was actually doing research. I was like, how can I be a better influencer without losing my damn mind? So I got some great advice, not personally from other influencers, but by watching the videos on YouTube, Instagram, social media. You know, a lot of these influencers, they do give you advice and, you know, so second point i didn't just go on a break from social media i did also go into a break <laughs> on my entire life i just ghosted my friends my family that had nothing to do with social media but i won't bore you guys with the details i just had to you know there were so many big changes that happened in my life and i just needed to i'm not very good with change so i just had to take a minute to adjust okay it took me five months <laughs> But I did adjust and here we are, so we're moving on. Third point. <clears throat> so many of us want to make it in life. And naturally so. Um, be it for family, money, fame, all of the above. And it looks nice when you see things from the outside. 
like when you see other people loving your dreams um we don't see the behind the scenes of other people's lives like I'm a huge fan of Heidi Summers, of Nikki Plakita. Um, they are very inspirational to me because they have background. They built themselves to where they are today. Um, you will, I also noticed that the two of them also go missing from social media quite often. And then I told myself, you know what, Mars, you don't have to be this hard on yourself. If you need a break, take a break. Just because your channel or any of the other platforms that you're on, it's not as big as you had aspired to be this year, doesn't mean that you're a complete failure because you did grow, even if it was minuscule. So with that said, um, these things that comes with our dreams, the drama from family, friends, followers, um, these jealousy, family, friends, followers. <laughs> these, the constant bullying, family, friends, followers. You know, I see the comments, I see the DMs. Um, then there's also like a combination from everything. Like, a lot of people go through life with this expectation of, you my family, you must support me through everything I do. You my friend, you must stand behind me, you must support me. But like, these also other people that has dreams and inspirations and they don't go on the journey they don't endeavor they don't and now because you are bold enough to pursue something that you really want there's going to be jealousy there's going to be like ah you can't do it oh you're not good enough you know what i mean so we for stuff like that it, it doesn't really matter if you want to be on social media if you want to be a personal trainer or if you want to be a desk jockey there's nothing wrong with being a pencil pushy come on people um everybody has their own dreams so if you don't support me bye <laughs> if you're not here to you know what it, it, it didn't work out help me up dust me off tell me ma'am go get it go get it feeling sorry for yourself it's not gonna work here you know what i mean but like you get those people who help you dig your own grave and then they push you in there <laughs> pretty prematurely even though you don't want to be in there so yeah that was my third point there's always going to be people in life that doesn't want to see you succeed and people like that even if it's yourself in your mind because i mentally sabotage myself a lot it comes with anxiety and depression and all this mental health problems Sometimes we, we get ourselves down and it's nice to always have somebody there that we like. Like me now, I have a permanent partner, so when I'm feeling down in the dumps, you always be like, hey, 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 what is this? What is this? No, pull yourself towards yourself. You know, it's nice to always have somebody like that. Like, of course, I always had my mom, but in my personal opinion, I love her a lot for doing it. But like, she was a bit too abrupt. Like, hey, okay, stop your nonsense. Big. Like, she was way too aggressive for my liking whereas my partner he will hug me wipe my tears okay pull this out towards yourself and so my mom was just like <laughs> we all know how moms are so yeah and then that actually goes nicely into my fourth point it's like smooth <laughs> so my fourth point is a bit of advice it's a bit of advice from me to you one day when my channel blow up and people come to watch this playlist because all of this annual stuff is in one playlist i just want you to know for the year ending 2022 going into 2023 my advice to you whatever your dream may be pursue that shit it's gonna be hard it's gonna be tough but you do what you gotta do, you push through. Even though you build a business, your business has been successful for X amount of years, all of a sudden, everything comes crashing down. Restart. Build from the beginning, back up. Like, there is so... This, this happened to me, that's why I can tell you guys. So, um, I also look up to Sir Richard Branson, um, and a, a key 
piece of advice that I took from him was that not every business succeeds, but if that is something you really want to do, why give up on it? Das is how we'll try again, try again, try again, try again, try again. If the universe will see that this is something you really want, it's going to submit to you. You know what I mean? As the Bible also says, where two, agree, two or more agree, so it shall be so. Have faith, you know? There is a higher power out there who wants to see you succeed as much as you want to succeed. So, <sighs> that is that. Um, don't let the negatives get you down. Don't let the everything's falling apart get you down. Just fucking push through. Push through, you guys. Even if there is nothing but dust left, pick the dust up. But not literally, but I'm sure there's going to be a few bricks left from the building that crashed down. Start to rebuild. Dust yourself off. Have a little cry, have a little pity party, but don't let it last for a lifetime. You know what I mean? Because, of course, it's my business. It's my baby. Um, of course, of course, of course. You work hard on it, but... Um, move on. <laughs> so, that is that. Um, okay, there's, there's going to be some people that's going to be like, yeah, but like, you can't just take a break from life, you can't just take a break from your family, um, not everybody has money to restart a new business, bro, it doesn't matter what kind of business you got, I am in the fitness industry, it's hard to build your own business business like i'm telling you like you have to build a community you don't have a gym that that you can just wake up and like i'm going to work at virgin active today <laughs> type of thing you know um you want to build your own gym you want to have an online presence you want to train people online how are you going to get people market that's why we have social media everything and anyone is accessible these days even if you want to like sell clothing, you don't have to walk into a mall, rent a space that's going to cost you 10 grand. What? Tell you what, Shopify ne? has 14 days free trial. You know what you do with that? You open yourself a Shopify sh store. Um, there's Printful, Printify. You create whatever topics you want to sell. You put a thousand rand in there if you have. If you don't, okay, we all must have savings. If you don't, it's fine. Um, sell digital products. Um, if you have a blog, put it on PDF. Sell it on Payip or Shopify or whatever. Take your website, advertise it on your social media platforms. You have Instagram? Do you have LinkedIn? Do you have Facebook? Then you can market yourself. So, gets to that. And like what, you just need a, a bloody 50 rand. I'm sure you can find a 50 rand in some way. You, you, your bank account must have really have a 50 rand. So, don't let that get you down. Anything and everything is possible. <sighs> okay. Now, I'm going to read directly what I wrote down here. And I want you guys to take it in. <sighs> Ready? Okay. My advice to whatever your dream may be. Fucking pursue that shit. It's never easy to block out the negative and that is why breaks were invented. <laughs> so many influencers take social media breaks and if you feel that is BS, then don't take a break from work. Like, don't go on your annual leave and then we see how you feel. Um, how many people take breaks from their families? Um, you book yourself into a hotel. I used to do that. Book myself into a hotel for a week and tell my mom I'm going to sleep over by my friend. No one can find me. My phone is off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, or you tell your family, um, I'm going to Hawaii for a week or two and what, 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 what. You switch your phone off, you come back, you feel refreshed, you feel rejuvenated. So, why can't people like influencers take breaks? This is a job. We get paid to do this. You know? So. 
fifth point. I'll tell you guys this much. I would rather take this break and I would have encouraged anyone else to take a social media break. Because what you guys don't understand is there's trolls on this internet. They, they slide into your DMs. They do copy um, comments. Of course, we don't delete all the comments and we can't avoid comments sometimes. But there's trolls now and they don't understand like what they do to a person. Like not everyone is mentally strong. How many influencers don't you guys know of that like tried to take their own lives and like succeeded at it? So mind what you say and mind your business if you don't know what to say tula wena just shut the fuck up you know keeping it real with you guys because like suicide is real mental breaks is real like how many people don't book themselves into a what do you call that um it's also part of this of, of psychiatric help like it's not a malice <laughs> Not a mental asylum, but it's, it's on the same premises. Because I can't get to the name now. I'm allowed to break off. But, yeah, that is my advice. Take the break if you need the break. Then, to conclude this very long video, I did not intend it to be this long. Um, I just want to tell you guys, thank you very much for your support, for your love. And most importantly, for your loyalty and your understanding. I might not have grown as much as I wanted to, but I did grow this year. And I couldn't have done that without you guys. Then, I have some projects that I'm working on for 2023. Put a little money in my pockets, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm excited for that. Of course, I share everything with you guys. That is the purpose of my YouTube channel. I want to document my whole life so that, God willing, in the future, my great, 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 great grandchildren can still come back and be like, oh, this is how it all began for us. You know what I mean? Got that Queen Bee. I got that Beyonce goals, you know? What is she saying in, in one song? There's a line that says, um, Something about her great 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 grandchildren on the Forbes list being sorted out and that you're changing, you know. I have dreams too. So that concludes this video. I will see you guys in 2023. And hey, don't forget to like, comment, and slash that subscribe button. I will see you guys.